All right, so this is what we're doing. Putting on our fancy dancy mud flaps compared to those, All right? So. Oh my, we are in the El Camino, All right? I don't know if this will show. Yeah, buddy. Dash of a 1975 vehicle, right? Look at that. Classic. Actually, I think that says Chevrolet. <laughs> I thought it said classic. <sighs> Alrighty, well, this is about the third time that I've had to go home. So, I'm telling you, put, put, Doing stuff on equipment that isn't at home, uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass. And I came really close to bringing the trailer home last night, real close. So, I don't know, I don't know. We had to go to, uh, let's see, I forgot my wallet. So I had to come back home because I broke off all the bolts uh, on the flaps there. And uh, so then I had to go to Ace. There's, a, there's an eagle up there. You can't see it. Or a hawk. So I had to go to Ace uh, Hardware and get ourselves some, some bolts, some new hardened, hardened bolts. And... Uh, Went back to the went back to the trailer, as you've seen, and then the the fucking mud flap don't fit in the same holes as the other mud flap fit it. So, got to go back home to get a damn drill. Now it's only like three and a half four miles, but still, man, look, there's there's. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Huh? Yeah. How you doing, buddy? Me. So it looks like we're gonna be getting some new neighbors. Uh, rusty iron, huh? And then down here at the end of the street, got a freaking housing track going in. But I don't know. I, I, as long as these guys here don't build any shit, then you got the housing track over there. But, so that stinks. But I'm going to get my drill bits and head back over to the truck. Or to the trailer, actually. Holy shit. Oh, I got a drill. That's not the right one. For freaking drill bits. So. Tried to see if something would fit, but it doesn't. So guess what that means. I got to go back to the fucking house. So this will make number four. This, this right here is what happens. Look at that, huh? That's what happens when you put your arm to hold the mud flap on to drill a hole. You, you drill into your arm, huh? Look at that. Good shit. So I'm gonna do the other side and finally get this done and over with. All right, that one there's a little lopsided. So we'll have to come out here and we'll pick up the trailer. I got all those tools in the truck. Uh, been that bitch back, but I am done. I'm tired of running around, going back and forth from the house. And then, you know, I get my, I get my uh, battle wound there. So, Definitely uh, chewed up some flesh. So, go home, put some super glue in it, and uh, maybe we'll get we'll get the flesh. We'll, we'll we'll super glue the flesh back on. So, the joys the joys of working on your own shit. All right, so kind of tearing up the truck. We got our bunk bed out and uh, I forgot that I had these cabinets inside the garage so 
really no need for them. So, uh, there's one that I'll show you over here. There's one that went across there, went across, went across here that I'm gonna use, I'm trying to figure out where my drill bit is, but if anybody's ever not used one of these, it's called a nut cert. Uses these little thingies here. And what they do is uh, they go into like aluminum, fiberglass, steel, and they pretty much make a, uh, so you can screw, put a screw in, uh, in thin walled stuff. And they work pretty good. So usually your truck frame, so I added this, this, and I gotta fill this hole in. Used to be right here. Um, I don't know why, because I had no place for my danglies. But usually, anything that's screwed into these trucks, because they're so thin-walled, um, you can see how thin it is. Uh, usually they use these nut certs. So, that's what I'm going to use in the back cab. Now the back is, uh, fiberglass so what i'm planning on doing is i'm going to use some two by fours that i had laying around and here's my cabinet so uh it did have these drawers on there which i was going to use but uh i was like you know what my microwave but it's not my microwave i bought an oven and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later. Uh, it's the oven with the ready to eat meals that you pay uh, weekly for. And so far, I get my first order on Tuesday, uh, but it's like a hundred bucks for the week. So I'm spending 120 to $150 a week every time I go out uh, for frozen food that is completely garbage for you. Um, so these are supposed to be a healthier uh, regimen. So we'll see how they do. They're like 12 bucks a meal is what it breaks down to. So I got a mess in here. I don't know where, oh, there's my drill bit. So I'm gonna put it along there. And like I said, I'm gonna drill this out uh put a nut cert in there and i'm gonna put three um so that should be enough to hold because if you look up here it's basically what they're using these are nut certs and this is what held the seat belt on so uh for that upper bunk which i'm so glad there's gonna be so much more room in here and that cupboard's gonna come out perfectly to where i can actually get to stuff uh so hopefully, you know, uh, it'll work out and it won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. But I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to get this hung up. I got to go to the hardware store and get some uh, bolts that'll fit this and uh, go from well, there. Well, that was unexpected. So that just shows how thin it is from the back of your cab to the back there not much in between huh so i got the nut cert in there so what i'll do is i'll go get a bolt to shove through there and uh on the outside here i'll get some silicone and silicone it up but looks like yeah there you go so that's uh that's pretty interesting but once it uh, closes up, like I said, I'll, I'll get some, I'll get some silicone, I guess, because that was kind of unexpected. I didn't think it was gonna. I thought there was more in between there, but I guess I kind of should have learned from the Mac when I cut the hole in there. But you know, it is what it is. It's fine, right? Maybe I'll uh, shoot. What I might do is I might turn it around to where the flat end sticks out 
and the uh, pointy end sticks in and screw it in that way. Because when you squeeze it together, it doesn't mess with the threads. So, right, might so try a little that. change of plans. Instead of putting the board against there, I just went straight through. So, show you what the other side looks at. But I'm going to stick a brace. There used to be two braces in here, and there used to be cubby doors. But the problem with that is, is uh, the cubby doors would, I, I couldn't close them because of the oven that's going to be here. And I believe my, what is it? The printer is going to stick out also. So I'm just going to leave it open like this, all right? And then we'll figure out how to mount the stuff. But, oh, so I'm putting the boards underneath here. So see that? Um, and that way when I tighten it down, it'll push it against there and it won't move. So, and those boards are being screwed in. So we'll see what it looks well, like. It's coming along. It's coming along. So that's probably how I'm going to keep it set up. Uh, have my oven there, coffee maker. I still got to move this over, but I got to, I got to do some vacuuming. Um, so it's pretty sturdy. Uh, I don't think I'll have a problem, but that freed up this area here. And then I got some area up there. So pretty, pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with, uh, with that. And it didn't cost me anything besides the bolts, which I think was like, well, the bolts and my God, I can't believe how much, uh, I can't believe how much, uh, Loctite has gone up ten dollars for a thing of Loctite, but so I was actually thinking about putting another cabinet here or another cabinet here, but I think this uh, will suffice. So it gets everything off the freaking off that top bunk, and again, it frees up this area here. Um, I mean, technically, I could probably put my stove top, but I think that's fine where that's at. Um, but again, this thing here, I'm going to do a review on this or a show, but I think this might be, in my opinion, um, the trucker's best tool, right? As long as you got a refrigerator and uh, all the meals come prepared, all you got to do is throw it in there. It takes about 20 minutes uh, to cook. So, and supposedly they're really good for you, really fresh meals. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to get some Tuesday. Today is Thursday. So I don't know if I'm going to go out or if I'm just going to wait until my food gets here and then go out. Um, that'll probably be the case. But anyways, hell yeah, baby. I'm in this here, straighten up my mess. See, I got shavings all over the place. I gotta fix this. I got wires fucking strung everywhere. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get her done, man. Awesome. All right, that's pretty much it. I can't get that fucking light bar to stay up, so I'm gonna have to figure something out. Uh but look, I can actually make my bed. You know how hard it is to throw covers when you got a freaking bed sitting right here? So looks pretty good, it's pretty even. Got a little bit of storage space up there. Put my box of uh, parts. You can see some parts up there. So just gonna clean up. Anybody need a microwave? Got one. Oh man, that was a job. But, uh, oh, I still gotta go outside and uh, cut them bolts. I'll show you. Right, let's see, put my tools away. Oh man. So you can see a little nipple sticking out. I don't know why some of them are sticking out further than the other ones, but they're freaking in there. So, so I'll shave it off. And then, like I said, I'll throw some silicone on there. And I got to put some silicone in this one here. So we'll get that done tomorrow. I don't have any. thought I had some. I don't have any. So 
anyways that's gonna be it i did find some of these guys so right now the way that my um that my uh batteries are connected there's only two so i'm not sure they're not connected there's not four of them connected together there's only two connected and two connected i think two go to the starter and two go to something else i don't know uh haven't figured that out yet but i tried to get the way that the batteries are sitting in there kind of weird um so these will definitely work um but other than that still waiting on my laptop i guess it got shipped today um and then what else is new not much so oh i gotta do my oil pan I gotta do gots to do the oil pan uh still haven't figured out if i'm gonna do it or if i'm just gonna take it into the shop and get it done uh it doesn't look that difficult but uh yeah we'll see what happens uh but i do need an oil change in 5,000 miles so again i'll show you guys the finished product i got so much more room now freaking awesome so i'll leave it here if you guys got any questions comments whatever uh leave it down below talk to see you on the next one later